Hi friends, I hope you all are doing great. It's me, Nikki, here to share with you a quick DIY on how you can refresh your coffee bar or coffee station. This is great if you live in a small space, so let's get started. So I wanted to share this because I recently refreshed our little coffee area in the office and I thought this was great for anyone who lives in a small space or if you you know, have a kitchen and you just want a nice little nook that has all of your coffee things, this is a great tip for you to use. So friends, for this DIY, you simply need a three-tiered tray along with a regular tray. And I'll show you why the combination of both of them work. But the great thing is there's so many variations of tiered trays on the market to fit your style and you really can have a lot of fun with it. I'm going to use the silver one here. This is one that I've had for years. And so I'm gonna give it a little tweak to make it our little coffee coffee station here at the office. So what you want to do is you simply want to put your three tiered tray on top of your regular tray and then this gives you another level of storage for all of your coffee items. I'm going to start by putting our coffee mugs on here and you'll notice that I strategically put them on the tray so that the handles face out to make it easy to grab that morning coffee because you know in the morning no one plays around when it's time to get that coffee. So on the second tray, this is where I'm going to house the sugars. And you all might remember these little sugar containers that I had. I absolutely love them. I love the simplicity in them. And one thing that is important about your three tier tray is that you think about how it's going to aesthetically look because it is visual, it's very visual. And so, you know, I'm thinking about my mugs and I'm thinking about my sugar and I'm coordinating colors and I get my sugar packets from uh, Amazon in bulk. And so my mugs are white, so everything kind of goes together, but you can have fun with it with colors and bring in the colors that are in your kitchen and really make this a beautiful setup. Then on the next tray, this is where I stack the coffee creamers. And it's really not about having a storage solution uh, for this outside of sitting it on the tray, but it's more about the arrangement. So just taking a little extra time to arrange them beautifully can really make your family or coworkers or friends morning. So moving to the bottom of the tray, this gives me plenty of extra storage. And you can put a variety of things here. You can put the little honey sticks, you can put tea, you can put the napkins here. So it's a great place to arrange all of those necessities that we need when we're fixing our tea and coffee in the morning. So friends, another great way that you can use this tiered tray concept for your coffee station is when you're entertaining. You know, you have that buffet. This is a cute thing to put on your buffet to house all of those coffee items. And also when you're doing small entertaining how great is this to bring out and sit on the table as you're having your after dinner coffee and dessert so friends I hope you have enjoyed today's tip on how you can refresh your little coffee station or coffee bar if you have any questions let me know in the comments below let me know what are you a coffee drinker tea drinker or you don't drink any of it I would love to know so friends I also want to remind you if you have not pre-ordered your copy of my book I can't wait for you to get it in your hands definitely go and pre-order your copy it is coming out on April 2nd so many of you have already ordered your book and I'm so excited to get it in your hands so friends also if you have not checked out my other channels at work with Nikki where I share tips for home-based business small businesses work tips along with my third channel at home with Bentley and Albert which is my pet channel and I share things like pet organization pet recipes all kinds of things on that channel we have a lot of fun over there so definitely if you're not subscribed to those channels I would love to have you over there and especially if you're not subscribed to this channel at home with Nikki where I share all of my home organization home decor DIY cooking all kinds of things I would love for you to click that subscribe button along with that notification bell because a lot of times I notice that YouTube is not sharing my video so you want to make sure you have that bell next to the subscribe clicked and even a better way is to get on my email list because I do send out an email every time I post a video. So it's a quick way for you to get notified when I post. So just wanted to put that information out there for you. I hope you all are doing great. I will see you at the next video. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.